Bonjour mes amis. Welcome to my channel, The French Station, the right stop for learning French. My name is Vignesh, your teacher and friend. I'm very thrilled to help you on your French learning journey and to make the language fun and easy for you. In this video, let's discuss the workbook exercises from lesson 10 from the newest edition of the workbook, Apprenons le Français, part 1. We will make a note of the answers in this Word document and the link for this document is in the description below. In the previous video, we completed all the workbook exercises from the ninth lesson. Now let's discuss the exercises from lesson 10. Leçon 10, the name of the uh, lesson is Célébrons le 14 juillet. Let us celebrate the 14th of July. The first exercise under that, répondez aux questions suivantes. Answer to the following questions. Um, so we have a set of questions over here in this exercise and the colors are given to us in uh, English within the brackets. So we need to, uh, we need to write the answers um, uh, using the correct form of these colors in uh, French because in French, Colors also have multiple forms. Uh, we've already learned learned this um, while going through the uh, while going through the chapter ten in the textbook. So keeping that in mind, let's uh, try the first exercise. The first question: The quel couleur est la pomme? Uh, which color of what color is the apple? They've given green within the brackets, so we can say la pomme est verte. Since la pomme is uh, feminine singular. Since it's a feminine singular noun, vert is also in the feminine singular form. The, the second one, de quel couleur uh, sont les tables? Of what color uh, are the tables? So we can, uh, we see brown within the bracket. So we can say les tables sont brun. The tables are brown. The third one, de quel couleur est le stylo? Uh, which color is the pen? They've given red within the brackets. So the answer is le stylo est rouge. The pen is red. The fourth one, de quel couleur uh, sont les croix? Uh, les croix is a feminine noun. Here it's in the plural form. It's, it's a feminine plural noun. And they've given black within the bracket. So um, uh, so the, the adjective noir, the adjective black should also be in the Feminine plural form. So the answer is les croix sont noirs. The, the cross, the crosses are black in color. Let's move ahead. The second exercise. Mettez les phrases au pluriel. Write the sentences in the plural form. So while writing the sentences in the plural form, we need to keep in mind uh, that the articles ha have to be written in the plural form. The nouns uh, should change. Uh, Sometimes uh, the, the conjugation also changes because if the uh, noun changes to plural form, then the conjugation should also change accordingly. And even the colors uh, or the other adjectives, um, any adjective will also change to plural. So th the first one, l'oiseau est jaune, the bird is yellow, and the plural form is les oiseaux sont jaune, the birds are yellow. The second one, uh, c'est un chapeau gris, that's a grey colored cap or a grey colored hat, and the plural form is ce sont des chapeaux gris, these are some grey colored hats. The third one, voilà un crayon rose. Uh, here is a, a pink colored pencil and the plural form is voilà des crayons rose. Here are some pink colored pencils. The fourth one, la maison est blanche. The house is white and the plural form is les maisons sont blanches. The houses are white. The fifth one, l'arbre est orange. The, the tree is orange and the plural form is les arbres sont orange. So over here, um, uh, uh, the color orange remains as orange because uh, uh, we, we've learned that for uh, these two colors, marron and orange, they have the same spelling in all the forms, the feminine singular masculine singular feminine plural and feminine plural all these forms have the same spelling so orange uh, this is how we spell it the third exercise complete la gris avec les noms des couleurs en français 
so we need to complete this uh, table um, with the names of the colors in French. Uh, first one is horizontalement, which is horizontally. So under horizontally, we have green, uh, that is vert. Uh, orange, for orange it is orange. And for pink, for pink it is rose. So they've given the number of letters also within the brackets. Green should have four letters, orange six letters, and pink, that is rose, uh, should have four letters. Then verticalement, vertically, it is the first one is blue, which is bleu in French. Then violet is uh, violet, and black is noir. So these are the answers. The fourth exercise, remplissez les blancs avec les couleurs qui conviennent. Complete the blanks using the colors that are suitable. Um, so the first one, les cheveux sont dash. Um, you can write, uh, you can write any color of your choice. Like you can say les cheveux sont noir. The, the hair is uh, black. So since les cheveux is in the, uh, it's a masculine plural word. The adjective noir is also in the masculine plural form. So it's, it's not that you have to write only noir as the answer. You can also say uh, les cheveux sont blancs. The hair is white. You can also use any other color adjective. You can say les cheveux sont blancs, etc. The second one, les arbres sont verts. The trees are green like this you can also say the trees are orange les arbres uh, sont orange etc um, uh, but where um, is in the masculine plural form because les arbres is a masculine plural word and orange it, it's the um, it's the same in all the forms so we just have to write orange the third one la pomme de terre est uh, the, the the potato la pomme de terre the potato it's a feminine singular word so uh, brune la pomme de terre a brune the potato is brown in color uh, the the fourth one le ciel a bleu the sky is blue and the fifth one le drapeau japonais uh, a uh, rouge et blanc the uh, japanese flag is red and white like this um, the the color adjectives uh, they have to agree with the noun in gender and in number. Let's move ahead. The fifth exercise, chasse l'anthrou. Choose the odd one out. First one, we have marron, bleu, brun, noir. Marron is the odd one out because uh, this is the only color that stays the same in all the forms. All the uh, forms like masculine, singular, feminine, singular, masculine, plural and feminine, plural. But the other colors have different forms. Uh, the second one, uh, rouge, rose, orange, jaune. Uh, orange is the odd one out. Um, uh, the same reason. The orange stays the same in all the forms. The third one, être, regarder, avoir, aller. Regarder is the odd one out because this is a regular ER verb. Whereas all the other verbs like être, avoir and aller are irregular uh, verbs. The fourth one, vert, noir, brune, bleu. Noir is the odd one out because all the other colors are in the feminine singular form. So these are the answers. Let's move ahead. The sixth exercise, retrouver les phrases. Mm, arrange the words, make proper sentences. So the first one can be, uh, c'est un cahier rouge. That is a red notebook. The second one, uh, it can be les oiseaux sont noir. The birds are black. The third one, le sac est brun. Uh, the, the bag is brown. The fourth one, ce sont des fleurs uh, blanches. These are some white flowers. The seventh exercise, complétez avec les mots donnés. Complete using the given words. So these are the words given to us. Bell, which is beautiful. Cathors is 14. Sapel is from the verb sapele. It's used to talk about our uh, name. Uh, M is uh, from the verb aime. It means to like. Francais is French. Grand is tall or big. It's in the feminine singular form. Um, so the first sentence can be El Sapel uh, Erina. Her name is Erina. 
L a uh, 14 ans. She is 14 years old. L aime la musique. She likes uh, music. So below that they've given words like yun, robe, rouge. Um, not sure. I think it's for the next exercise probably. Uh, anyways, so uh, let's uh, uh, move ahead. Elle aime la musique. She likes music. Elle est, um, you can say belle et grande or grande et uh, belle. Um, elle est, she's beautiful and tall. Elle parle français. She talks French. So these are the answers. Let's move ahead. The eighth exercise. Uh, complete selon l'exemple. I think that example is what is printed over here. So in the first one, it says une robe rouge. So you need to complete the uh, complete the blanks using the article. They have not uh, specified which article. So you can either write definite or uh, indefinite. But in the example, it's given um, une. So you can write the indefinite articles. Uh, in the second column, you need to write the le nom, which is noun. And in the third column, it is the color. So um, uh, let's move ahead. The first one can be uh, en oiseau jaune. So since we are writing only the indefinite articles, it can be en oiseau jaune, uh, a yellow bird. The second one, it, it's a pink colored rose, right? So we say une rose rose. Uh, the flower rose and the color pink, it's the same in French. We say rose. Then the third one, it is, um, uh, we see a brown uh, or a maroon colored car. So we can say une voiture marron. Uh, marron uh, has the same spelling in all the forms. So we, uh, so although this uh, word une voiture is feminine, marron is still written like this. Then the fourth one, uh, we see uh, we see a few pencils that are green in color. So we can say des crayons verts, some green pencils. And the fifth one, we see some white boards. So we can say des tableaux blancs. So both these words, crayon and a tableau, both these words are masculine plural words. So the color adjectives like vert and blanc are also in the masculine plural form. So with this video, we complete the workbook exercises from all the lessons, that is lesson zero, from lesson zero until lesson 10. And so this is the last video in this playlist. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel, The French Station, to get notified on the upcoming videos. Like it and share it with your friends as well. Until then, a bientôt. See you soon.